The human brain can do things that most of us think are impossible, but uh, when you really get a human being you know, aiming at something with enough energy and passion, even things that we think are part of science fiction actually tend to happen. The brain-machine interface is a, is a paradigm that establishes a direct link, a real-time link between living brain tissue and artificial devices, like robotic arms, robotic legs. And most of the time in humans, that is done uh, on a non-invasive technology, the EEG that you record from the scalp. And you know that embedded in these brainstorms, these electrical brainstorms, you have motor commands. So you use mathematical computational algorithms to extract this motor information, translate it into digital signals, so that, that that brain can directly control the movements of the robotic arm or robotic leg. Well, when Brazil was awarded the, the World Cup, um, very soon after that, the Brazilian government uh, decided they wanted something special for the opening ceremony. And at that time, I proposed that we did a scientific demonstration to showcase to the whole world what science, in particular neuroscience, could do for humanity. And we, we got people from 25 countries to collaborate over 18 months to get uh, a group of patients, including Giuliano, to train with a new piece of technology, the brain control exoskeleton. And at that point, uh, we worked together to get Giuliano to, to basically deliver the opening kickoff. That symbolic kick was the opening kick of a, a new phase of this field that may produce a, a lot of technologies that will help uh, millions of patients around the world.